All right, hello everyone. This is Alex Moreno from Bamboo Traders. Uh, I'm gonna do the recap for today. Uh, today is uh, June 27th. Uh, at the beginning of the day, I actually had uh, about three stocks I was watching. I was watching IQ, MU, and CAG. Uh, now the first one that caught my attention was MU for an opening range breakup. And I did take the trade. Uh, as you can see here, I was waiting for the break of uh, 55.20, right here, this, this level right here. Okay. Uh, so I took it to the long side, 160 shares. And then I actually did a terrible mistake, which I, instead of selling a portion of my position over here, I actually bought more. <laughs> now I'm actually accustomed to uh, shorting uh, on most of my trades. So what I did is I hit the, um, the buy to cover button right here. So I added 80 shares, then I added another 100 shares, and then uh, you know I was way over over my limit on share size. Uh, but hey, you know it, it wasn't that bad. Only a 50, 54 cent loss after I covered everything. So that was a wash. Um, eventually it, it failed and it went all the way down here. So I'm actually glad that I, I was able to break even on that trade. Now the next trade I did was on CAG. Let me pull that up here. All right, on CAG was actually a beautiful opening range breakdown. Um, right here, I took it to the short side a little bit late. Right here, I also took 160 shares. Now, uh, yeah, I did cover a little bit too soon, but hey, that that was enough for me. It was a, it was a good trade. I took some. Of, I shorted at 76. Uh, took some of my position right here at 49. I uh, took some at 36 and I had an order at 35 but once I saw uh, on the one minute chart right here there was actually a little pullback from 06 to 20 so I kind of panicked a little bit uh, I should have you know held my composure a little bit more and waited for a bigger move uh, and eventually I stopped out uh, it was still a decent trade uh, yeah I missed uh, you know, some of this move but hey you know it happens now I took a, another trade which um, this is pretty much a five minute pullback on the downside. Um, I have seen many stocks do this, uh, the ones that we have, we have been trading lately. And you know, I decided to take it, why not? Take a, take a stab at it. So I went short here, um, a little bit less size, 120 shares. And I saw that it was struggling on the 50 mark. So I took a little bit of my position right here. And then as soon as it came up almost close to my break even point I took all of the rest of my shares out. Um, so that's that I did um, three trades today also a few things I do want to recommend I'm not sure if anybody has mentioned this uh, in any of the recaps is to keep a, a trade log like this uh, you do learn a lot from you losing trades uh, every trade is not necessarily a complete loss you know as long as you're you, you embrace it and you learn from it is something good that you should uh, that you should have so this is my, my trading log. Um, I've, again, I, I've been doing this since the uh, 29th of May. That's when I went live. And as you can see, I have everything, every single one of my trades with some notes. And this, this is my, my daily p &L. So, you know, 28, 100, this was a horrible day. And as you can see in the month, I'm actually up 357 bucks. It's not pretty bad for, for the first month of, tra of trading live with real money. Um, so that's that. You know, hopefully uh, this continues. Uh, you gotta stick to your rules, uh, keep being disciplined, and that is all. Well, hope you guys enjoy this recap. Thank you very much for watching.